Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. One minute, children. Explorer. Okay. Ma'am, always it's coming like meeting disconnected. Try again, it's coming, ma'am, always. For you? Yes, ma'am, in, in the math class also it's happened like this one. This only happens when you have a network issue. Somebody is talking in Telugu. Very bad if you talk in Telugu. One second, children. This is opening. Ma'am, once admit me again, ma'am. I'll just check my network issue. I'm coming. Okay. Right. Would you be able to see the screen? Huh, children? We can see the screen. Yes, ma'am. We can see your PC. You can see your download now. Yeah, this one is not like that's all we can see. You cannot see the PPT? No, miss. We can only see um, the download. No? Yes, miss. Can you see the PPT? We can see yes. it. Okay. Okay, one minute. Okay. So yesterday we have stopped here. Uh, we were discussing about what we are discussing about children. Refraction, refraction, and dispersion of light. Okay. Yesterday we have stopped somewhere. Where? Where did we stop? This I was uh, about sun. An example. You about sun, ma'am. About sun only, ma'am. Refracted in daily life, ma'am. Next, uh, this one about sun, ma'am. Yeah. So now yeah, this, actually, this is is that sun is what is Allah, sun? Is sun actually sun is a brown. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yourself, if um, if you are having some disturbance in your surroundings, please mute yourself. Okay, so now we know very well that the sun is in round shape. Okay, so sometimes during sunset or sunrise. Okay, so during sunset and sunrise, uh, you know, you up, uh, we will notice the shape of the sun uh, slightly changed. It is not completely round. Okay, the shape of the sun is, is seems to be slightly flattened. So, uh, what could be the reason for this, uh, according to your observations or your imaginations? You find any uh, scientific reason behind this fact? Because the uh, sun is like closer to the earth. Uh, I mean, like it appears to be like that. Please be louder, you mean? Okay, I think it's because uh, the sun. It's like way closer to the earth. I mean, it appears like that to us. Very good. And because so, of refraction, we see the sun like that. Yeah, the basic fact is, especially during sunset and sunrise, what happens is the sun comes closer to the air surface. Okay, so when it is cl coming closer to the air surface, so earth is having atmosphere. You know, earth is surrounded by atmosphere and it consists of air. Okay, earth consists of air. So what is happening is sun, when it passes sunlight, the sunlight should travel from the atmosphere, mean to say from the air, and again it reaches, uh, it reaches to the earth, okay? So the density of air, the density of air in the atmosphere is greater near the surface of the earth. If you take the uh, atmosphere, okay, in the atmosphere, you know very well, air is there, atmosphere is made up of air, so the density of this air, air particles in the atmosphere is greater, is more near the surface of the earth. That's the reason what happened is the magnitude of refraction or the bending, the bending of light rays. 
or you know the the bending of light rays happens the refraction gets increased okay whenever the uh, you know height whenever the earth and the sun the distance between the earth and sun is decreasing the height between the earth and the sun is decreasing earth is means sun is coming closer to the earth during sunrise and sunset because of the density high density of the air in the atmosphere okay this refraction increases okay I mean the bending of the light rays increases so when the light rays are bended automatically we see sun as a flattened or oval shape rather than the round shape generally we have you know a diameter vertical diameter or horizontal diameter so what happens here is the vertical uh, diameter of the vertical you know what is meant by vertical line what is meant by vertical Thank line straight line ma'am Standing line. One minute. Yes, ma'am. Standing line. So this, this line is the vertical. This line is yeah. Line. Yes. Vertical. Vertical. This line is horizontal. Horizontal. Okay. So what happens now is during refraction, the vertical diameter of the sun is shortened, and the horizontal diameter is extended. Because of this, the sun seems flattened. All this is happening because during sunset and sunrise, the sun comes closer to the earth. When it comes closer to the earth, the distance between the sun and the earth decreases. When the height is decreasing, when the distance is decreasing, the refraction increases. The bending of light increases because of this bending of the light rays. The earth, I mean, the sun seems to be flattened. Right? Is it? Is this a point clear to you all? Ma'am, one second again, ma'am. Uh, somebody read this page number fourteen. Ma'am, ma I'll read, ma'am. Yesterday I didn't read, ma'am. Ah, uh, read, read. I am asking you to read because uh, this thing we are going to focus on reading skills. So whatever it is there, all the difficult words you have to understand. So that's the reason. Whatever the um, part is there in the course book, reading part. If you read each and every line, whatever the difficult words and hard words, if you find any difficult words, I can explain to the class, and at the same time you will have reading practice. That's the reason. Ma'am, this ma'am. Yes. Refraction in daily life. Fourteenth page. We have an example of sun there. Yes, ma'am. The sun appears flattened. At the time of sunset and sunrise, Stop the this. density of the let me explain them. Okay. okay, so the sun appears flattened at the time of sunset and sunrise. So I have told you very clearly the sun, the sun appears flattened. Okay, at the time of sunset and sunrise. Next, the density of the air in the atmosphere is greater near the surface of the earth. Okay, so I have told you already. So Earth is having atmosphere. Atmosphere consists of air particles. So the density, I mean the weight of the air in the atmosphere, is greater near the surface of the Earth. Okay, next. Thus, the magnitude of refraction increases with decreasing height. Magnitude means what? I mean number, size of refraction. So size of refraction increases. Okay, so the quantity of refraction increases. The size of refraction increases with a decrease in height. Whose height? There, the distance between the sun and the the height between the sun and the moon. Sorry, sun and the earth. Okay, we are talking about sun and the earth. So whenever there is a decrease in height or decrease in distance between the sun and the earth, the refraction increases. The size of refraction increases. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Due to this, the lower proportion, the lower portions of the sun at the time of sunset and sunrise are raised more than the upper portions. Okay, so because of this refraction, uh, we will uh, we can see like you know the lower portions of the sun, especially at the time of sunset and sunrise, uh, appears to be raised more than the upper portions. Okay. Yes. Hence, the vertical diameter of the sun is shortened more than the horizontal diameter. As a result, the sun seems flattened. So I have already told you the vertical diameter. The vertical diameter of the sun. 
So I the vertical line I have drawn to show you what is meant by vertical diameter. So this vertical diameter of the sun is shortened more than the horizontal diameter. Okay, as a result of this, the sun seems flattened. Okay, so now is this clear to you all or anybody who have not yet understood? Understood, ma'am. Others also, please respond. Miss. Understood, ma'am. Miss, I have a question. Yes, please. Um, how can it be refraction? Because the light is traveling to the, through the same medium, which is air. How is the refraction? Air medium and then solid medium. Sun, so, the sun is also there, no? Sun is there. From sun, the air is traveling into air medium. Okay. Okay, so sun is there is only one medium there. What next? One medium is not there, no, no. Sun is there in the space, actually. Okay, sun is not there. Okay. okay, sun is there in the space. Again, the medium is changing there. Again, it is coming to air. Air, air is uh, surrounded, mean air is there near surrounding to the earth. And again, it is reaching to the earth. Earth receives sunlight now. Earth also receives yeah. light. Again, the rays are getting reflected from the earth and again they are reaching the sun <clears throat> and the refracted ray is reaching the sun. Yesterday we have seen one okay. picture how the reflect uh, incident ray turns into reflected ray and then again reflected ray bends, undergoes refraction and forms as refracted ray. The same In the same way, when we have uh, sunlight also, the light rays reaches the earth they incident mean the rays which reach the earth are called incident rays and again they get into reflected rays and again as because of the distance the uh, the low height they are getting more refracted more bended and then finally they are formed as reflected rays because of this refracted rays the sun is, seems to be flattened did you get okay. the point from me yeah i got it no. yes Everybody have understood? Yeah. Anybody is having any kind the of... Stars? Children? Understood. Akshara, what is happening? TV is on. Akshara responds. You're watching television. Ma'am, some disturbance is coming from someone. Akshara only. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Why you are watching television? No, ma'am. There is some voice coming out from your area, like some kind of television or some audio. Okay, others, it is clear? Everybody? Yes, ma'am, clear. Two, three points we yes, have to remember in this example is, you have to remember about sunset and sunrise. Okay, whenever there is sunset is there and whenever there is sunrise is there, the sun comes closer to the earth. Whenever the sun is coming closer to the earth, the distance between the sun and the earth is decreasing or the height between the sun and the earth is decreasing. Whenever the height or the distance between sun and earth decreases, refraction increases. Okay, this is a phenomena, physical phenomena. Refraction increases. Okay, so you have to read it, remember it, by heart it. So refraction increases because the refraction is increasing. What is meant by refraction? Bending, bending of light rays. When the light rays are bending, the round shape of sun seems to be like flattened. What happens is the horizontal, uh, the, uh, the vertical diameter of the sun is shortened than the horizontal diameter. Because of that reason, the sun seems to be flattened. Right, shall we move to the next example? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So the same phenomena happens. The stars. The same phenomena happens with a slight change in case of stars. Stars also we have, but some stars twinkle more, some stars twinkle less, some stars appears to appear to be very close, some stars appear to be very far away. So this twinkling, the twinkling of these stars. Okay, the twinkling of this, uh, sometimes if you, uh, 
if you lay down on the terrace and if you watch the sky you see if you focus on a particular star you notice that that particular star is twinkling okay sometimes the same star twinkles twinkles a lot okay twinkles more and sometimes the uh, same star twinkles normally so the twinkling of the star differs sometimes it twinkles more sometimes it twinkles less it happens with the same star so why i mean actually why the stars are twinkling what is the phenomena behind this uh, uh, twinkling of stars anybody is having some kind of idea regarding this because uh, the density of the atmosphere changes continuously and uh, the stars the light reaching us will also be different so i think because of that what actually where are the stars present they are present in the space how i am me in the space in the space yeah okay so uh, so uh, actually we notice stars in the sky let us say okay the stars we notice the stars twinkling also so actually what happens is there is some atmosphere okay the density of layers of atmosphere changes so stars are present in the atmosphere okay above the atmosphere so in the atmosphere also we have different different layers of atmosphere so whatever the particles which are present in the atmosphere or the weight of the atmosphere or the weight of the air okay the weight of the air or the weight of the air particles is more okay because this density of the the weight of the uh, air particles changes the density of the layers of the atmosphere changes continuously and uh, due to this change of density continuously or due to this change of density of air the the amount of refraction of light the amount of refraction of light rays from uh, of the stars also changes continuously the amount of refraction of light rays from the stars also changes continuously so because of this change okay because of this change the stars position also will change apparently sometimes the stars are here sometimes the stars are there I mean not a big change but there is some slight change in their positions also okay so uh, because of this phenomena the stars appears to be twinkle twinkling I mean the ma- the basic reason for twinkling is uh, the the atmosphere around the stars okay the atmosphere around the stars and the density of the atmosphere it changes continuously as the density is changing as the density is changing what will happen is the refraction will also get changed okay because of this change in the refractions sometimes the stars appears to twinkle more sometimes light sometimes like that you can observe the twinkling differences this is the phenomena basic phenomena behind the uh, stars also so there is one picture also which uh, which is that so a person is standing on the earth he is watching the stars okay so air is there so in the atmosphere above the earth the air density is more because of this air density the position of the stars will be changing and because of this continuous changes the refraction will also change sometimes the refraction will be more and then sometimes the refraction will be less whenever the refraction is more the twinkling will be more whenever the refraction is less the twinkling will be less so is this clear for you are you getting this are you trying to understand the concept yes yeah, are you yeah. are you getting the points or anywhere you are stopping somewhere i want to explain the stars ma'am once where are stars present stars above present the atmosphere. atmosphere okay I mean last layer of atmosphere let us say okay so they consists of uh, surrounding the star what is present surrounding the star what is present air is present air particles atmosphere is present surrounding the star atmosphere is present atmosphere is made up of air particles okay air particles have some weight some density okay if the density is more 
the the refraction will be more okay if the air particles density is more the refraction or the bending of light rays will be more okay because of this bending of light rays the stars it twinkle okay so you have to understand like whenever there are stars are there stars are source of light so stars same concept you have to imagine the same concept with the diagram whatever i have shown you on that day okay this star is a source of light it passes incident rays okay incident rays are uh, incident rays are reaching the earth they will be converted into reflected rays and again when they cross this medium the earth medium then again atmosphere they changes into atmosphere earth is a solid medium atmosphere is air medium so again when from this solid medium reflected rays again reaches the air medium and then convert in, into refracted mediums so because of high density of air in the atmosphere there is lot of bending of the light rays when there is lot of bending the reflected uh, refracted ray you know it will be more I mean the bending of the light ray will be more I mean to say the refraction will be more here in the arrow mark he has shown refractive index is increasing so when there is greatest air density the refractive index means the refraction is increasing so because of high ref refraction we can see again the stars twinkling you have to understand this logically once again i'll show you that picture so that you will understand more clearly one minute like what is refracting uh, refractive index one minute, one minute ma'am clear on okay yeah see this is the picture yesterday i have explained you so this is incident ray is for example here you can imagine a star okay so here you can imagine a star so from the star the incident ray is reaching the earth earth is again a solid so this is all in middle is air medium so from air medium here i wrote water you can imagine as earth which is a solid medium so again the rays gets reflected and some of the rays will go into the earth okay here what will happen is they are getting reflected and again the reflected rays are refracted one minute so this is also the refraction phenomena which i have explained to you yeah here you can see clearly so you can see how the medium changes are there here so this is fourth is sun here so here you can imagine a star okay from the star the incident ray uh, incident ray here it is reaching to water molecule because rain drop okay now we have to imagine this as a earth so incident ray it is getting reflected and after reflected here you can see the refraction there is some bent bent of light rays are there okay bent of light rays are there and again because of this bent of light rays this refracted re rays are visible to our eyes so because of this we can see uh, the stars are twinkling somebody read that so that you can understand more clearly Ma'am, can I read? Who is this? Who is this? Ma'am, yeah, please read. Ma'am, let me only read, ma'am. Yesterday also she didn't read. Somebody said, "Can I read, ma'am?" So every day different. Ritvika. Ma'am. Ah, uh, Ritvika, read. Okay, ma'am. The stars seem twinkling light. The density of the layers of the atmosphere changes continuously due to the changes. Stop. You have to stop after every full stop. Okay. okay so i told you already the star and you know also the star seems twinkling twinkling light so why why they are seeing why they are twinkling why do we see them twinkling is the density of the layers of the atmosphere changes continuously i told you now stars i mean above the earth there are different layers of atmosphere let us imagine the stars are present in the last layer of the atmosphere last okay so then what is happening the atmosphere is there the density means weight 
so the atmosphere consists of air particles so the air is having some weight so this weight will change okay the weight is not constant it is changing continuously yes continue continue do hmm. okay ma'am due to the changes in the density of air the magnitude of refraction of the light rays from the stars also changes continuously okay stop there i told you na due to the changes in the density of air or due to the changes in the weight of the air the magnitude means the size of refraction the length or the size of refraction of magnitude is nothing but it is the quantity it could be size or it could be length the size of refraction of the light rays from the stars also changes continuously okay because the density is changing the refraction as the density increases the refraction increases okay if the density is decreasing the refraction also decreases these are all some physical uh, properties which you have to learn in by heart okay the concept we will make it clear but what is the principle involved in that you have to read and by heart and remember okay so here the principle involved here is what is the principle involved here or the concept involved here is as the density of air increases the refraction of light rays also increases or as the density changes the refraction of light rays also changes okay yes continue okay this change causes the apparent positions of the images of the stars to change continuously with time as the refraction is changing continuously okay because as the density is changing continuously the refraction is also changing continuously like for example if the weight is more or density is more the refraction is more if the density is less the refraction is less so here when the refraction is less the images or the twinkling will be less if the refraction is more the twinkling will be more so because this change the change in the causes of apparent position of the images of the stars to change continuously with time the stars appears to twinkle okay so the concept is here very clear the simple point you have to understand is in the atmosphere the density will change continuously whenever there is a change in the density the refraction also changes if the density is increasing the refraction is increasing if the density is de decreasing the refraction is decreasing so whenever this there is change continuously definitely the positions of the stars will also change and then uh, there will be some kind of twinkling which is visible to our eyes as the concept is clear now clear ma'am everybody yes, ma have to understand few physical principles there will not be much elaborative explanation you have to remember it because uh, it is all principles science is nothing but lot of principles involved in it so uh, what increases with what density increases refraction increases density decreases refraction decreases okay when refraction decreases the uh, you know the twinkling will be decreasing when refraction is increasing the twinkling will be more that is the reason we will see stars twinkling brighter at some time and normal at some time okay i understood ma'am everybody understood anybody who is having some kind of doubts in this concept somebody who has not understood or somebody is having any other doubts you please ask is it clear for everybody yes ma'am other children yes. are you sleeping in the class these are all difficult topics yes ma'am yes, these are all difficult topics you know that is the reason a lot of explanation is being given and again if you do not listen to the class and directly if you read the course book you cannot understand what are the principles involved in each example so you have to pay attention towards the class listen to the class properly and if you have any doubts you can also share with me discuss with me interact with me there were no issues involved in it okay so we will move to the next example right next example is he is talking about lenses what are lenses children what are lenses lens where are lenses used where are lenses used you don't know what are lenses they are used in um, lenses are used in you know making transparent 
they are used in microscopes they are used in making uh, some magnifying glasses they are used in cameras they are used in even they are technology. used in uh, spectacles also i told already spectacles telescopes and they are used as uh, some spy holes for the doors so these are there are different kinds of applications for the lenses okay and lenses play important role because majority of the people are suffering with eyesight nowadays and this lenses playing very uh, major role in preparation of spectacles also okay so generally this lenses what is the le a difference between a lens and a mirror children what is the difference between lens and a mirror ma'am mirror means we can see ourselves because of the silver coating back side ma'am mm. but lens and this lens like this is transparent ma'am we can see that side object but if that is any point means like like if there is any spot a basic point it, to understand is mirror is having only one is, from, mirror has only one side okay lens will have two two surfaces okay lens will have two surfaces mirror will have only one surface because lens is a transparent object okay from both the sides you can see lens but mirror you can see from one side only your image will be reflected you cannot see what is behind the screen what is there out I mean, uh, on that other yes, end no, no. but coming to lens you can see it what is there so this lens lens what lens is made up of what is uh, what is lens made up of is lens is made up of two optical planes okay lens is made up of two optical planes okay somebody read this we have lenses concept can i read yes, page number 14 Page number fourteen. Ma'am, I'll read, ma'am. Who is this? Nagadatta. Ah, Nagadatta, read. You read Nagadatta. Four by two optical plane. You are uh, so that it's not audible. Please be a little bit louder. Ma'am, now it's audible. Ma'am, some disturbance is coming, ma'am. Hmm. Please be clearer, Nagadatta, and read. Lens is a transparent object that is bound by two optical planes, Children so that the thickness of see two optical planes means here one mirror will be, I mean one glass will be there, and here one glass will be there. So this is one optical plane, and this is another optical plane. Okay, so there is a, there are two optical planes. I mean it is it consists of two glass slides. Okay, right. so that the thickness of its middle and edge part is different so stop there so the thickness of you can see here on the board the thickness of middle part is different and the thickness of edges are different again clearly it is visible because it is made up of two glass planes or two optical planes okay the thickness of middle of the lens is different and the thickness of the edges is different i have drawn on the board you can see yes it is different from a mirror which only has one surface yeah i have already told you lens is different from a mirror because mirror has only one surface whereas lens is having two surfaces next a lens can be imagined as a set of prisms what a lens can be imagined as a set of prisms Okay, but it was not there in my copy of course book, right? It was okay. You can imagine with prism. That is also fine. Next, lens is classified. Lens classified to the lens. Your voice is not audible, Nagadatta. Lens are classified into two types: convex lens and concave lens. Yes. So lens are classified into two types. one is convex lens and second one is concave lens two types of lens are convex lens and concave lens first we have convex lens a convex lens has a, at least one surface that curves outward yes nagdutta thank you somebody want to read it since please continue 
Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Who want to read? A convex lens. Me, ma'am. Mahim. Ah, read. read. A convex lens has. Okay, ma'am. A convex lens has at least one surface that curves out outward like the exterior of a sphere. A convex lens is also known as a converging lens. It causes light to deviate inwards, bringing the rays of the light to a focus. So, this convex lens is also known as converging lens. Okay, a convex lens is also known as converging lens. And I am drawing the picture also. The convex lens consists of two optical planes like this. Okay, two optical planes are there. One minute. Ma'am, time completed, ma'am. Time completed? Yes, ma'am. Three minutes. Yes, ma'am. It's eleven thirty. We are out of time. Tomorrow we will continue with this convex lens and concave lens. Okay. So. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Right. I will send notes if anything notes is taken. Bye, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. What notes, ma'am? Time is up, it seems. Children were telling time is up and they want to leave for break. Ma'am, which notes you are going to I send? I don't know. Today. If something is pending, yes, I yes. can attend you. I am telling. 